Hey, welcome back to more Viewer's Choice 2013, The Real People Proud. Free your mind. So, I have a point of question for you. Okay. Well, I have a, I have a, I have, first, I have a basic question for you. All right, I may have an answer to that, too. We all love free things. Free things? Yes, free is fun. That is the best price. Right? And we all love doing things that we want to do. True right? That. Right? True that. But are we really free? Mm, I don't feel free. Are we free? Are we free? Because here in the United States, we are not free. No. No country is free. You don't live freely. You live governed. Henceforth, government. Yeah. Right? Just, Your life is governed. My asshole. Everything you do is governed. And the things my asshole. You, and the things you say could be detrimental to what you do. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Because you can't go out on the road and punch somebody in the jaw that you don't like because guess what's going to happen? You get charged with assault and battery. Law. Law hinders us from doing things sometimes that we really want to do. Yes. Say, for instance, I really want to punch someone's ex in the face for making stupid decisions. But I can't do that because I'll get arrested. You see? So, freedom. We are not freedom in many. We are not freedom. <laughs> we are not free in many ways. It don't matter what color, race, creed, gender, sexual orientation you are. None of us are free. And yet, some people still think they are higher and mightier than others. When we are all stuck kissing the ass of higher beings or higher powers, the government, assholes. The government controls everything that you do. Either that be physically, mentally, um, actively, right? Or necessarily physically. Financially. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they control your finances. You're like, you're thinking to that comment, no, they're not. Yes, they are. What do you think the fucking IRS is? Yeah, another form of asshole. They control your finances. They decide how much money they're taking out of your damn check. That you work hard for. And how much money you may or may not be getting back at the end of the year. Even though you worked hard for it. And then, you, with them doing that, then you have these rich assholes. That the IRS is like, oh, you're okay. You're, you're fine. You're fine over here. You don't have to pay dividends on stocks anymore. <laughs> you know? Oh, you, you, you're a billionaire. Don't worry about your taxes. You, you can get us after about 15 years when we come after you for back taxes. Yeah. You know, but no, the little people, they'll shit on you quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah, they'll all your shit in a heartbeat rather than all in a millionaire. You when know? you know the fucking, the fucking millionaires can clean that shit out in a fucking second. But no, they're worried about the ones who have a hard time coming up with that money. So you see, we're not free financially. We're not free in any level that, that we can do. Now, it's still the most... We still, you, the U.S. still has the most freedom in the world. Crank that. Mm, don't feel like it, but it. No, it does. Okay. Um, oh, yeah? We have the most freedom? Yes. Then why can't I get married? You can now. In what state? And how long did that take to happen? No, I understand what you're saying. I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just clarifying the point. I know, I know. But I'm making a statement that we 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 have a lot more freedom than other countries. We can do a lot more things than a lot of countries citizens can. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Oh. and it's true. Okay, um, but even still, we are still managed. If one of us comes up and says, "You know what? I don't like how this is being run. Um, I'm making a stand right here against you. You're gonna get pulled." And you're going to disappear. Because then they call you an activist. Right? Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the anarchy. Activist, right? They think you're trying to overthrow the government when you have an opinion about the government. Yeah. You know? But they don't realize if everyone in, in all the lower class who are sick and tired of the bullshit all came together. Mm -hmm. We would... So overthrown anything. Oh, yeah. 
there would be no more government. There would be no IRS. There would be n nothing to govern us in such harsh manners. Because they, whatever the, we, they, they say, well, dictatorship is where if they don't like what you're saying they're doing, you get hauled off, mm -hmm. you get to jail or killed, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think they do here in the States? If you do something that the government does not agree with, what's going to happen to you? You're going to disappear or go to jail. Mm -hmm. It's facts. It's harsh facts. So here in the U.S., we are not free whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We are either governed by the government with laws and sanctions, right? Mm -hmm. You can do this, but only to a point, right? Once you get to this point, then it's illegal. Do you know some states don't even have a self-defense law? What? Where you can be beaten the fuck up, and the moment you stick up for yourself and you end up whipping some ass, you're going to jail. Because you defended yourself or your family. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, some states don't have a self-defense law. Maryland didn't have it until 1994, I think it was. Shit, if somebody in my family was in danger and jeopardy and someone was threatening them, you bet your fucking ass I would do whatever I yeah. could to make them motherfuckers think twice. Take that guy that broke into my brother's house in Jersey. My brother patiently waited, you know, mm -hmm. and then done his thing. Mm -hmm. So, you see, stupidity. That's like, that's like fucking saying if your house is getting robbed... You have a you have a weapon in your house to defend yourself. That motherfucker crosses the threshold into your house, and you either a bust them in the head with a blunt object, stab them with a sharp object, or and <laughs> one of my personal favorites, shoot that motherfucker. Yeah, shoot him. You're gonna be the one getting in trouble for it. Yep. For protecting what's yours. And do you know what something's fucked up? Say it's like this. This is really fucked up in the U.S. I've heard real cases of this, and the prime example that they, Jim Carrey decided to make fun of it a little bit in Liar Liar, mm -hmm. okay? If somebody breaks in your home and injures themselves in your home, they can sue you. That's fucking stupid. That is so far beyond stupidity, it's not even to like They funny. broke into my house. And the fact that they decide to fuck themselves up in my house makes that my fault? When they were trying to steal something in my house and possibly hurt me or my family in the process? What the fuck? Yeah, they can sue you. <laughs> now tell me that's not a loophole in the law. You know what? If, if, a, if somebody broke into my house, they hurt themselves. And I knew because of this, this very moment right here, because I knew that I'll be the one getting in trouble for it. Oh, I'd make sure your ass wasn't walking out of there. If I'm going to jail anyway for you fucking up yourself, I might as well get my own couple hits in. Right? I would. I'll be making a legitimate reason for my ass to get locked up. I'll be lunging on that motherfucker. Shit, I'll still be beating his ass when the cops showed up. I shit you not. Now, what happens? Here's my question. What happens if they break in your home and your dog comes after them and bites them, right? What's going to happen? Is your dog going to get put down because it defended its home? Now, I love, I love my dog. And if someone was to break into my house with my dog here, first of all, the dog is going to sense you. If you don't belong there, the dog is going to sense you and it's going to start barking. My dog, he growls, he will snap at you, and he will bark endlessly until either me or my dad comes to see what the fuck's going on. And if by chance you was to come near him and he snaps at your ass, and he gets carried away in an SBCA uh, truck and to be put down or whatever, you better bet your motherfucking ass on it. I shit you not. I will hunt you down personally and I will fuck you up. It's like it's like you know for a fact if someone broke in here, pop stalls would be fucking tearing Hell up. Hell yeah. If anyone the broke into this horse, house... The big old horse would first knock him down and Ginger would be having him by the throat. Hell yeah, we got a big-ass horse-like fucking dog and we got a pit bull. Them two motherfuckers, number one, individually, they could fuck you up, but put them both on you? 
ain't gonna be enough pieces of you left to identify. And then if there is any, and you decide to try to get them hauled off, you're gonna have a guy after you that you don't want after he, you. He ain't quite right in the head. Then again, none of us in this house are, so. So you be getting the hell torn out of you anyhow. I mean, we're animal lovers. We have pets of our own. Um, I love my dog to death, and if anything ever happened to it, <laughs> let me just say, uh, you better have eyes on the back of your motherfucking head. So, the point being here is we're not free, but we can make it so. Mm -hmm. You don't have to agree with the government. Don't make them bully you, bully you into having to agree with what they do. Because that's far-fetched. And you're com and this is coming from a guy who served in the military. I don't like a lot of the things that the government does. At all. They, they're there to try to help you, but you have to make a certain amount of money for them to help you. Or if you make a certain amount of money that they can help you, then they're like, you can't make this much money because then you can't help you anyways. Mm -hmm. So it's a catch-20. They do that purposely so they don't have to pay you. Oh, you quit your job. Sorry, you can't file for unemployment. Oh, you got fired. That means you fucked up to get fired. And half the time it wasn't even your fault? Yeah, it wasn't your fault that you got fired. There's those ones who it's not your fault that you get fired, you file for unemployment and get it. Mm -hmm. But there's those who really fuck up majorly. Right? Mm -hmm. They get fired and they get unemployed. Hmm. Or the ones that are unemployed to begin with, then they can't keep their legs closed and they decide to have one baby, two baby, three baby, four babies, more babies than they can take care of. So and then us hard working people have to pay for their crazy, lazy, crack asses to get Section 8 and food stamps. Where meanwhile, and Social Security. Meanwhile, when people are hard working and do everything they can to get nothing to progress in their lives, get absolutely no help at all. So, that's, excuse me. Who is it? Aqua Six. No, I don't answer that. So. So on that note. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Viewer's Choice 2013, The Real People's Power. Free your mind. And if you're not down with that, we got two words for you. Suck it.